Okay, then the last one. <clears throat> All right, based on what I have already played, actually, I think you have your answers on your mind, which one is better, which one is not. And <clears throat> for our research, our contributions, we want to try to uh, make better use of sound design with the respect to the gaming experience. And based on my own experience, I think the, the second one is the best. Okay. okay. Now I need to introduce some of our background knowledge. The first is what is Gaussian process regression, GPR. GPR is a non-parametric mode for regression to analyze of data. And here is the algorithm, the FX, the Gaussian progress actually is defined by the, the one MX, which is mean function, and there's KX and X prime, which is a covariance function. And here X is actually our input, uh, which is game setting, and uh, based on our research, our input is audio cues, and the FX is the output, which is player's experience, uh, estimated by the player's performance, and based on our work, we choose completion time to analyze our pre uh, player's experience and performance. And this two graph actually gave you guys a rough view about how really Gaussian progress will work. So look at the first, uh, First graph in this graph is the initial of our data set. We can see that here we have a gray space. If we want to make the prediction, the prediction actually have a very wide function space in this gray uh, space. And in the next graph, when we have some actual data point and the GPR will make the mode look like that. And in the next time when we do the, the prediction, the prediction will locate on the gray space here. So it will narrow the function space. Based on the previous work, it is very quick for us to do the prediction, which is the advantage and the, one of the reasons why we choose GPR here. <clears throat> and now for the game, our objective is to make our player feel that our game is not too hard, not too easy. And we want to say it is an intermediate. And uh, uh, for uh, meet this kind of objective, we create two lines. The first is pre-designed operator's line. We call it PT line, which is a black line here. And another line we call the player performance line, which can be estimated by GPR, which is the red line here. So how to make this objective and to make our goal? So first, let's only consider about PT line. So P, as, as I have already mentioned, pre-design the relationship between the game difficult setting and the player performance, which means uh, our designers can uh, design in advance, which may be like the black line here or anything else, maybe a linear or whatever, it's designed by the designers. And the T is all test player's performance over game difficult setting collect in advance, which means is our test player's performance. We can collect many test data and to draw this line in advance. So the intermediate level, so meet this ob uh, objective intermediate level. So for the intermediate level of PT line, which is here and here, we can see. So the cal uh, after calculation, the intermediate level is eight. So the advantage of PT, uh, the intermediate level of PT line, which reflects our designer's expectation or our test player's performance. But it's, it also has this advantage, which is not fit, to, uh, not fit to all players. For example, we are the designers, we design this kind of line, but uh, many, uh, I want to say most of players maybe will not go absolutely like this line, maybe like, like this red line, so it will it may not fit all, all the players. Yes, this is the problem of about the PT line. How about only consider the intermediate level shown here? Only consider the player performance line. So you can see if we only play a performance line here, uh, the max is ten and the minimum is zero. The intermediate um, <coughs> value is five. So if we only consider the intermediate level of player performance. Yes, advantage is it's really actually reflect the 
our current player's performance. But the disadvantage is our player must play all the levels through here so that we can draw this line, or we have kind, uh, a kind of technology such as GPR or uh, anything else can do the uh, function approximation to draw this line. But if we only collect uh, some data uh, at the very beginning, the function approximation is very uh, is not accurate at all. So we propose our own recommended goal, which is uh, the intermediate level or uh, the intermediate value of P, uh, PT line and the intermediate level uh, value of player performance line. We can see eight here, five here. Recommended goal is 6.5, which is eight plus five divided by two. So our recommended goal actually balancing the intermediate value of PTI and the player performance. And here is the algorithm. Actually, we generalize it. So the designers can, uh, can choose the weight by themselves. So here we, we get the W1, W2, and W3. In our, object, uh, in our uh, uh, research, uh, we set 3W or equals to 0 0.5, but you can set it by yourself. For example, if you think PT line is more important, you can set W2 uh, higher than W1, but W2 plus W1 should be equals to one. So about our recommended goal, the advantage is that compared with the PT line's intermediate value, it's more personalized. And compared with the performance line intermediate value, it is more reliable at the beginning. And after we calculate this recommended goal, what should we do? We will, uh, we will compare this value in the uh, player actual performance and find which level is the, is the best level uh, with our recommended goal. And uh, with the full process, actually this is the next level that our player will actually uh, play. So here is the algorithm. I will uh, introduce it one by one. <clears throat> so at first, actually we have already have the PT line is pre-designed. It's tester uh, uh, or it's a tester uh, player's line. So we can get it very easily. And uh, with the PT line, we can get the best performance, worst performance, so, get, so that we can get intermediate value of PT line. And uh, with this line, we can get the, the initial about audio Q volume setting, which is AS0. After that, our player is actually here to play the game with the audio setting, which uh, has already been chosen here. After player play the game, we get player's first performance, which is P, P0. After that, uh, the uh, audio queue setting and the player performance were stored in the database. So this is the initialized phrase, which corresponding to the, this part. And the next is the body of DDR, uh, DDA. So we have already have the database of our player real performance. So we can calculate our own recommended goal, which is G final. Uh, we named it here. So uh, also we can see the intermediate value of PT line, the PT is here. And here we can calculate the intermediate level of player performance. And with our own recommended goal and uh, player's performance, we feed it into the Gaussian process regression. GPR will predict, will predict player performance line after that, we can get what the next audio cue volume should we sit, set for the player. So with our recommended goal here, you can see. After that, player will play the game by this audio cue volume setting, and we will get his next performance. And we set our stop criteria. If we meet it, we will end. If we not meet it, it will be a loop and we will start here. And uh, uh, this ASI, audio cue uh, volume setting, and the player performance were also stored in the database. So, what is the stop criteria? The first is I, which is this I, the in the iteration, we meet max iteration, we will stop, or MP, 
uh, meet the threshold. So what is NP? NP actually is the player real performance P here and our goal, which means uh, currently our player performance uh, is very, very near to what uh, our recommended goal had been already, already set. If they are very near, we stop and end. So <clears throat> uh, above is all of our theories. So for our experiment, we have 40 players with 33 male, seven female to play an 3D FPS game made by Unreal Engine 4. And uh, the goal of this game is to find the exit as soon as possible. And this is the main reason why we use clear time to assess players' uh, game, game performance. We actually have five levels corresponding to five different loudness of audio cue volume. And uh, in our game, we set audio cue meaning to four steps and the game files. And uh, here we provide, uh, I provide two links and the two QR code. The first link, you can watch the video of our game. And the second link, uh, you can find our source code and the source data. So what will actually look in the game, it actually looks like here. We have enemies here. We have the entrance. We have the exit. The player need to find the exit. So they need to cross the arena. Uh, they, uh, they, they are not have to uh, kill the enemies, but enemy will threat them. So I will show the game. So actually, I will open the game and show actually how it looks like. Actually, on the website, I also provide a link here. You can download our game and play it. Uh, if you pre-download it, you, uh, you, you can open and play it. And now I will show the game. <clears throat> so this is our game. We have some simple uh, uh, UIs. So here is the tutorial level. So we can see uh, on the right button, we have bullet animation the live this UIs to uh, to tell uh, our players uh, your status. And uh, here's the tutorial level. So at first, you need to know how to file. Just right click. You need to uh, eliminate these two uh, cameras. And then you need to know how to jump. So press the slide, uh, space bar. And then you will see a dummy here. So dummy actually have the weak point. Head is the weak point, which means headshot is one shot, one kill. But however, if we do not use headshot, it's well one, two, three, four, five. We will use five shots to kill an enemy. And, uh, and after tutorial, so uh, through the tutorial, player will know how to fire, to recognize their enemies, a dummy here and a camera here. And let's go to the real fight. Let's just play one levels. So here the level. So now if you can so can you hear the uh if you can hear the audios, you can find so yes, behind these walls we have many enemies, but we cannot locate it very clearly. So okay, the first thing here. So actually I designed the game. I know where's the enemy. It's very hard for me to pretend. I don't know where enemy is. So here you can see a very loud magnet machine. So, okay, it's here. So, press R to reload. So look. Enemy also will reload if they use up their uh, ammo. Okay, he found me and fight me. Here. Okay, then we will go to the next level. Okay. So this is how actually the game well, uh, uh, the, the gameplay and what uh, our player will face. So about the data, that first the data collection. Uh, for the actual data, I'm sorry, uh, point. Uh, we uh, we collect the player's data, and we found that the relationship between the enemy audio cue volume and uh, the player clear time is quite like a quadratic function, which is like here, which means uh, here one means zero loudness of 
uh, audio cue volume and the five, uh, the fifth level means the hundred percent loudness of audio cue volume. Uh, we can see that uh, player perform perform not uh, not perform very good when the audio cue volume is is very very low, and it's good when the audio cue volume is intermediate. And where it's loud, it has some fluctuations, but we think it's also rise. So the best sitting may be located here. So how to find the best sitting and how to do the DDA, since we only have five levels, it, the data is not enough. So we do the data augmentations. We actually augment the data from 0% of loudness to 100% loudness with the step size of 1% of loudness. So we use, we totally augmented uh, 101 levels and we use second, uh, second degree polynomial regression since we think this is a quadratic function. After that, we do the four fold cross validation. So uh, as I have mentioned, we have 40 players. So for each fold, we have 30 pretested players and 10 uh, uh, player per fold. Uh, for the pretester players, they are, help us to make the PT line, and 10 players, they are, help us to, to do the test. And we set the threshold here equals to 1, and this blue line actually is very uh, important, which shows that GPR actually can quickly find the appropriate in-game audio setting, especially it's very it's decreased very fast at first 10 iterations shown here. And also we compared our algorithms and our baselines. So our baselines is actually very easy. We just want our player to uh, let our player to play the level one by one. So here, the first baseline have 11 plays because we set the step size equals to 10. So we pick uh, performance state of level 10, uh, zero, level 10, level 20, so on and so forth to level 100. And uh, here baseline two, 22 plays, the step size is five and 51 step size is two. So we can compare here and here we can find the players place much smaller number of game to get closer to the proper sitting. So here we can see uh, with our algorithms, uh, only 11 iterations the average value has already near three, but for the base lines, they play 51 times the, the average value is still larger than 3.5. And the, here is our conclusions and the future work. And the first is that uh, this is what we found. Uh, the relationship between an enemy audio cue volume and player, player time is potentially a quadratic function. And uh, we think our difficulty recommendation go outperforms the intermediate value uh, compared with PT line uh, and the player performance line. Also, GPR is actually a very efficient tool for audio cue SDDA in a 3D FPS game. And here is our future work. Okay, thank you. That's all. Is there any questions? Hi, ano, ma chato haya kattan desu ga, ano, eh, to, tadaima shitsugi oto no jikan to narimasu no de, ika ga de shou ka? So, any, and it's Q&A time. So, any questions? Uh, can I ask a question? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, please. Yeah. First, first, I will ask. Yeah. I will place my question in chat. <laughs> okay. My first question is. Uh, uh, thank you for your presentation. It's a very uh, interesting and curious uh, presentation. And uh, my uh, my question is uh, your future plan and. Uh, how, uh, how, what level of generality can you expect from uh, what you have found through this research? Uh, it mean, uh, do you have future plans to endure uh, your generality uh, with the same B2 for FPS and TPS other than so you see in this study? Or could it be applied to platform games such as uh, Mario 3s? Okay. Thank you for your question. So let me answer it one by one. The first, what level of gener generality can you expect for what you have found through this research? Mm, uh, sorry, what is the general? 
uh, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, your, uh, uh, fun, uh, research uh, findings can apply to any other, uh, games. It's, uh, uh, it, it, it it, it's mean <laughs> okay okay oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay i i can i i can elaborate this uh so first okay let's focus on fps so can your findings be applied to other fps okay oh, for other and, FPS and then game. yeah it's now let's broaden the scope okay and then can your findings be applied to other Genres. Oh, okay, so the okay. so first one is an easier question to answer. I right? can can your finding be applied to other FPS games? Uh, yes, I think uh, it can be applied uh, for other FPS games. Since FPS game, uh, some other research has already shown uh, audio cue is very important. Uh, aspects for the FPS game because they try to use audio cues to train a player's ability uh, uh, despite of what FPS game it is it is and they success uh, so I think uh, uh, my uh, our DBA our research results can apply to other FPS games as well and uh, also uh, based on my understanding we also can apply this kind of technology to not only fps game maybe other types of games like fighting games car games to use audio cues and as a kind of important information to inform our players uh, or to teach our players but it's a very hidden way our players maybe will not find it directly but they will form a kind of habitation based on audio cues. And the second question is, uh, sorry, Professor, what is the second question? The second one is on the chat, yeah, yeah. chat space, right? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it could be applied to platforms such as Mario. Okay. Uh, uh, not that is a third finding. Oh, wait a minute. Before that is FPS and and TPS, right? TPS. Uh, excuse Would me, the same be true for FPS and TPS? Uh, excuse me. What is the full name of TPS? Third person. Third person. Third person, third person, third person shooter. shooter. Third person shooter. Uh, we do not do this kind of experiment, but yes, we can do it and try to figure out whether it will be true, but. Uh, based on my understanding and research, I think uh, it will be slightly different because first person uh, only have uh, uh, some views like hu what human, but third person, uh, their view are very uh, somehow lar larger than the first person. Yes. And it could be applied to the platform games such as Mario, as I have already mentioned. We, uh, I, I think uh, audio cues have a very powerful ability to uh, give players information and try to make the game maybe more easy or maybe teach them something. Yes. OK, thank you. Uh, is there any remaining questions I do not answer? Okay, if we, yes, uh, uh, other person don't have the question, oh, please, I... please. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, my 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 earphone is out of battery, so I I could not hear what you have said. Just maybe. Yeah, so he will be asking you some other questions. Oh, okay, okay. What's okay, you know, sensei, yoroshiku, onegashimasu. Hi, hi. So, the second question is also coming. I, uh, I, uh, in, in my understandings, uh, uh, one of the uh, interesting point of your findings, uh, 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 not a uh, big feedback is the uh, best in brain gain. Uh, it, you, you, you have the, uh, the good point <laughs> is exist in the brain game. 
uh, for ab about break and brain feedback. So uh, when we think about the the uh, result, uh, uh, do you think uh, any other uh, more uh, big integrated theory of what amount of information feedback would be optimal for the player? Uh, uh -huh. Okay, thank you yeah, for your question. Uh, the first, actually, yes, some audio cues is not good for a large, uh, as large as better since it will break the reality of the game. So, uh, so currently in this study, we only study the volume, but uh, actually audios in the game have many other aspects such as attenuation, such as the reflection, such as its speed and uh, how uh, it will uh, uh, tr uh, transform uh, across the wall, across the water. So uh, it's based on the environment. So actually there have many other aspects uh, very worthwhile to, to study. Uh, so yes, in the future we will do that. Uh, and is there any possible kind of integrated theory of what amount of information feedback would be optimal? Hmm. So what kind of integrated theory you mean about? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it, it mean, uh, probably you, uh, your research finding is uh, one of the very good uh findings but uh, uh if we think about it uh applied your still uh, findings in in several games or several uh any other more wide uh phenomenon uh if we can find more uh big theory or more uh, oh. uh <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. So, so for example, maybe others not only including the audios, maybe some visuals or or some uh, effect, uh, very obvious effective data. Do you mean like that to combine mm -hmm. themselves, combine the uh, the audio cues? Yeah, combine and compare them. Yes. Yes, combine the audio cues like uh, or comp compare the audio cues with visual cues. So uh, whether uh, audio cues plus visual cues have a more uh, good performance or which one is better than the others. Uh, so based on my understanding, I, I, I prefer to combine them together. Also, uh, as many paper uh, have already published here uh, in, in before, so they try to uh, control the difficulty by players' uh, physical state, such as heart rate or blood pressures, so on and so forth. Actually, this is very uh, tricky, and actually, uh, and so, uh, and most of people figured out that these kind of data are controlled by the player's affective state. So, uh, based on my understanding, maybe we can combine affective state here also to. To analyze, so to uh, to assess players' affective state, maybe like uh, facial experiment gestures or their operations. Yes, we can combine them together to make the series uh, to make the uh, theory. Uh, but but he is not a he is, uh, his question is about optimality, right? Because mm. in in even all the OQs, you you show a demo, right? When when the volume is too loud. It's not also not that good, right? Yes. This, so this is true. if you combine too many cues, I have a feeling that the player may get confused. Mm, yes. So I what also... is the optimal combination? Is is something that should be that he he that Ino Sensei is suggesting uh. here? Okay. So optimal, how to optimally combine them? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a very yeah, interesting question. I know that question. it's not your team because in order yes. to, for your PhD, you only focus on audio cues. Yes, because so... there is no much time, right? To, to do yeah. this. But <laughs> yes. this, you, uh, yeah, this can be done after you finish your PhD. 
Yes, it's actually a very interesting topic to combine themselves and find the yeah. optimal. Yeah, to combine optimally combine them, not just combine. Yes. Them. yes. Uh, so currently, I have no idea how to how to combine them op op optimally, but I think uh, based on the technology shown here, uh, now we can use AIs or other technology to find the, the best parameters. Or yes, to to do that. ま、あの、ドクター取った後にぜひやってもらいたいなと思ってます。井上先生ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。はい。はい、他にありますか? Any other questions from audience, students, other audiences in ま、日本語でもオッケーですので、あの、こちらの方であの、適当に適当というか、あの、訳しますので。いかがでしょうか? Um, Lee, yes. you show us um, the second part of your talk. You show us the real game, right? Yes. That can can be played by downloading from where. Yes. Maybe uh, we, we can ask author because you know all you know um, you know the game, right? Yes. Maybe we can ask volunteer to download and play and show show their play to us. Okay. Here is the RCGS uh, website. And uh, from the website, we can find a link here. Uh, it's called hi. this. And Just, ano, hi, hi. Uh, to, which link? Ah, okay. This link. This link. It's, no, it's ここ actually ]ですね. somehow ano, good, uh, somehow big, roughly one gigabytes. Just a big file to be able to download the game download the game. It's a little bit of time, so it's still あの、質問とか考え ちょっとボランティア1名が欲しいんですが、ちょっとあの、ボランティアでプレイしてくれる人いますかね。ちょっとズームで手を挙げてください。いないですか。じゃ、英語でちょっと喋りますね。So we need a volunteer to download uh, the app of this game and play the game and show it to us while you are playing the game. I need a volunteer um, to do this. Could you if you are interested in doing this, could you please raise your hand on Zoom? Nobody? ちょっとダウンロードの時間がかかっているので、あの、少々後でよろしければ。はい。あ、今あの、今先生がダウンロード中ですか。ああ、でもなんかもう一人が今あの、連絡いただいたんですが、なんかガランさんですね。Okay, Galang, go ahead. Could you share you share your screen? Ah, uh, Lee, could you stop sh sharing the screen, Galang? Oh, okay, okay. Could you share uh, your screen and? Oh, sorry, I can share my screen because the host disabled participant screen sharing. Ah, sorry. Then I I I will. No, uh, oh. share the um. Okay, sorry. Ah, uh, please make him co-host, Galang, Galang, G A L A N G. Yeah, I've already done it. Maybe ah, you are do you are co-host, so you can share the screen. Co-host, so I think you can do it now. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, other members, you can also uh, download that, and maybe you can you, you can show us your play later. Hokanokatamo,今あのダウンロード中もおられるかと思いますので、まあその後ですねあのカランという方の後にちょっとぜひあのプレイを見せればせていただければ。Okay, okay. 
ちょっとどうなるかですね。あの uh, is the video showing already? Yep. And could you show it by sharing your audio? You don't know how to show sharing、um, computer audio. Ah,、uh, the sound. Maybe you have to、uh, stop sharing, and when you click the button, there is another button. Oh, okay, okay, okay.、Uh, left, left bottom, right? That you check yes, computer sound、share. or something. Yes. Ah,、oh, I see, I see. Yes. Okay,、uh, so the first is tutorial. So Lee, just tell him what to do.、Uh, can everybody hear the sound? No sound. Yeah, I can hear、no. your voice, but no, no shooting. Could you shoot, shoot something? Shooting sound.、Uh, wait, wait. How about? Oh no, there is no sound in my. Wait, I'm I'm going to change into a single screen because I'm using dual monitor. Ah. Ima ano dual monitor skatte te ima single ni kiri kai. そうですけど。え、井上先生、今ダウンロードできましたか？あ、ダウンロードできたりはできます。ちょちょっと手間取ってます。あの待ってる間あのちょっと別の質問をさせていただいてもよろしいですか？あ、はいはい。はい、どうぞ。あのえっ、ー、と長谷川さんからちょっといただいている質問で、あ、uh,、で、uh, we... あ、あ、カランスクリュースタッフ、we we we have a、uh... Maybe stop playing and stop screen sharing. We we are going to deal with some answer first. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, Ino Sensei, do so. Hi. Ano, eh, to Hasegawa san her、uh, give a, give me a question. She's absent today, but she's、uh, researching about the、uh, sound cue and.、Uh, Uh, visible uh, uh, brightness、uh, prayers, and uh, she uh, she finds uh, she, she, uh, she, her, her question is uh, your game seems that the 3D sound source was used in the game you presented.、Uh, do you think you will get similar results in terms of difficulty when the type of sound was not a 3D sound source?、Oh. Uh, Okay, thank you for the question and for the translation. So at first, we need to know what's the difference between the three D sound and the two D sound, and it is very hard to apply a two maybe a two D sound、uh, in a three D game.、Uh, so、uh, actually, the game platform also need to change into a two D game, not a、uh, a three D game. So,、uh, but based on my understanding,、uh, it. Have a very high probability that the、uh, the results can be used in the two D game and also two D sound. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Any other question? Any other question? Okay, Kalang. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Please, thank you.、Okay. Yes, thank you for playing. So at first, you need to aim the camera and fire and try to destroy them. Yes, and you can press a spacebar to jump over the barrier. Okay, then you will see a dummy. The dummy will not actually fire you. Okay. Yes, headshot is one shot, one kill. Kill the dummy, and now you can continue. So,
Uh, so it's very interesting. Have you ever heard the machine uh, that's called EQ? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. So what, what should he do? Uh, retry. You can click to retry to retry this level. Yes, you can retry again and find what you are missing. So, Is the audio cues in this setting? Uh, in this level, the audio cue is zero percent of loudness. Ah, no means... audio cues. Okay. Yes, no audio cues. So he has to proceed to add more more difficult levels for audio cues to come. Mm. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you very much, Galang. Okay. Good. Nice try. Nice try. Okay. So. Don't worry, this is not your entrance exam anyway. So, okay. Um, all right. D, could you say it again so that there was no audio cues? Uh, the, the, the level that Scarlon just played, that level do not have audio cues. The audio cue volume is 0% of loudness. But I see. For, I see. Uh, because we have five levels and we shuffled them. So oh, I see. Uh, Ima, I know. えっと、音声効果音、あの、では、あの、なし質問とか他にありませんか いかがでしょうか。プレイ。オッケー。エニア。オッケー。あ、あ、僕がプレイスですね。あ、わかりました。えっと、ちょっと待ちください。珍しいの。えっと、ちょっと待って。画面共有させていただきますね。あ、あと
これで、えー、あ、ちょっと待ってね、ズームのあれが。これで、多分見えてますかね。はい、見えてます。はい。これ今、今どこですかあ、はい、OK ですね。はい。はい、じゃあ、リー、クジュー、インスラクト。あ、今もう、ローですから、ね。あ、これ音が全然ならない。あ、今聞こえてます。音聞こえてます。あ、あ,あそうですか。僕の方で実は音が聞こえてなくて<笑>。あれあ、あの、画面2つやっ,、えー、やってますかあ、そうですね。画面2つやってます、ね。あの、最初の方もそうだったので。あなるほど。画面をやっぱ1つにしないとダメです。じゃあちょっと待って。恐らく、恐らく。はい、えー、っと、デュアルディスプレイをやめると。えー、っと、デュアルディスプレイ。えー、ディスプレイ設定で。うんと、木の実で表示で、ならないですね。ならない。<笑>こちらは聞こえてますけど。そうですか。えー、あでもちょっと待って、僕のそのスピーカーが複数あるので、えっ、ー、と、スピーカーを、スピーカーを、なんか、多分別のスピーカーから出てるかもしれません。えっ、ー、と、音のセッティングってこれどこかからできるんですかね。あ、D、how can, can we set、uh, some setting on, for speakers and something like that here? In, uh, in, on your game, he, he mentioned that he has multiple speakers, so he would like to select the correct one.、Mm, like、can, can it's, it's more related. Setting, is there a setting function where you can select speakers、mm. from your game? In the game, no. In the game, no. A game, no. In the 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 game, no. はちょっと諦めていただいて、そうです。すみません。はい、OK。Any other volunteer? Uh, so is there a, a question or not? Oh, Zhao, OK.、Uh, Zhao, is you raise your hand? Is that a question or volunteer?、Uh, volunteer です。OK。はい、Go ahead。どうぞ。はい。あのちょっとザオに、うん、あの割り当てましたので共有ジョンですね思いますはいオッケーオッケーはいありがとうございますあ聞こえますかはいはいオッケーです聞こえますあ
Are the are, are there audio cues in this level? I think yes. In this level, we have audio cues. But I found the audio here is some laggy, maybe, from Zoom. Oh, I see. Ah, just Zoom no, Zoom no, ah, no, lag is there, so, ah, no, the audio quality will come after. So, yes. Oh, master. Oh, so did he clear the game? Uh, no, actually he cleared three levels, and he this level he failed is the audio queue volume is hundred percent. Ah, I see. But now, the last level is a little, ah, no, audio quality is the highest audio level. It's getting a little, ah, no, it's getting a little better. オンリオじゃないとなかなかスムーズにプレイできないということが分かっていただけたかと思います。OK、Thank you very much, Zhao. Good job. はい。はい、他に質問とかいかがでしょうか。はい、ない質問がないようですが。<笑> Can I confirm that、uh, how many samples do you Test in your research. Ah, we have forty、uh, participants. 40. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mark, mm -hmm. uh, do you check the the prayer uh, uh, scale of the how uh, the the <laughs> Yeah, oh, uh, I, I know. I know what you want to speak. Actually, uh, well, uh, we actually set a questionnaire, but in this paper we do not publish it. In the questionnaire, we ask player to assess their FPS gaming skill by themselves, and yes. Uh, uh, and yes, we found that for the new players, which means for the green hand, they are do they do not have much、uh, FPS experience. Uh, they have a great difference with these uh, expert uh, players, and、uh, yes, in the future work, actually, what I'm currently doing, we will expose in our next paper.、Uh, what what is the ratio of uh, a major? How、uh, to say?、Uh, for, major, for... major, low level player and professional. Or intermediate level players. Uh, forty players. Only two players. They assess themselves as they do not. They do not have any experience on FPS game. About ten players. They think they have low experience about FPS game, and only one player said they are uh very expert on FPS game. Almost uh the the remainers. They think they are intermediate or a little higher than the intermediate、uh, of of、I、their、see. experience. Hi. Ah, who can? Any other questions? Hi. Eh, to. Mo, one hour has passed. Question. どうもないようですのでよろしければこれで終了したいと思いますが井上先生よろしいでしょうかあはいあ,ありがとうございますあの非常に面白い、はい、あの研究であのこの後さらにあのああいやあ,あの良くなることを祈ってますあの I expect our、uh, your research is very、uh, refined <laughs> more and more so、uh, Yes, uh, it's uh, uh, <laughs> uh, do more 
get get more resource and please uh, uh, involve yourself to more good results. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> thank you very much, Professor Inoue. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you everybody. Good night. Good night, thank you, Professor. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Yoyo toshio. Yoyo toshio. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.